in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen heavenly father we thank you and we praise you for this beautiful day for this gift of life lord for every person gathered here and even those who are listening on youtube you are ministering to each one of us lord you know what we need holy spirit take complete authority of this entire session take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords you think through my mind you speak through my mouth let every word that is spoken over here come on for those who are listening and i bind every spirit of destruction disturbance and unbelief that has come to steal kill and destroy in the name of jesus i command you leave this place right now thank you holy spirit for i know and i know that you are going to confirm every word spoken over here with the accompanying signs wonders and testimonies we make this prayer in jesus name amen 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 praise god thank you jesus so let's go to mark chapter yeah mark chapter 4 verse 13 onwards yes can someone please read this then he said to them do you not understand this parable how will you understand and grasp the meaning of all the parables the sow the sower sows the word of god the good news regarding the way of salvation these in the first group are the ones along the road where the word is sown but when they hear satan immediately comes and takes away the word which has been sown in them in a similar way this in the second group sister sister that's the, it thank you please okay. i think thank you jesus okay so see this scripture okay this is talking about the parable of the sower and the seed okay and jesus is telling his disciples now the disciples did not understand why jesus spoke in parables so they went and asked him so he is saying do you not understand this parable how will you understand and grasp the meaning of all the parables the sower sows the seed the word of god the seed represents the word of god and the sower is you and i okay any person who is sowing the seed of the word of god who is sharing the word for example in this class i am sharing the word so i have become the sower and right now i am sowing the seed called the word of god and then he goes on to say these in the road where the word is here satan immediately comes and takes away the word which has been sown in them so what is happening he is talking about the first group of people the first group of people where are like those people whose heart condition is like those people you know like the wayside if you see the pathway i'm sure all of you all have used the footpath yes, yes. yes so what is there in the footpath is there a good quality of soil or is it like you know muddy you put yeah it, anything you put it doesn't penetrate inside it remains on the outside on the surface the same thing with those who have the pathway soil the seed even though it fell the falling of the seed represents that the person heard but it did not penetrate inside see whatever we are hearing everything is a seed okay not just necessarily the word but after this class when i are exposed to so many things 
correct? Lot of things around us. Even though in many a times it can be ungodly seeds. Okay? But we can't help it. We are exposed to those things. But what is important is, is that seed penetrating inside? See, the seed has the potential to grow into a plant. But for that, it has to penetrate. It has to be planted in the soil. And if we see in the parable of the sower and the seed, there are four different kinds of soil. Okay? And every the outcome of the seed the seed planted is the same the sower is the same okay but the result or the final outcome of the seed planted in different soils is different so the soil represents our heart okay so what is important to understand is is the word of god penetrating in my heart is it going deep inside me? And that penetration represents understanding. If I have understood the word or not. Because think of it, okay? Now you all have been receiving the understanding, this Bible study and everything. But I'm sure there was a time in some of your lives where you were only interested in healing or somebody praying over you. Because at that point, you had not received the understanding of the word the way you have it today. Is it possible? Yes. Like yes. some people, they just come for the retreat because, and they are more interested in the healing session because in their mindset, it is that the man of God, the woman of God, or the person who is preaching the gospel is anointed. I am not anointed. That person knows so much, I don't know anything. Possible? Yes, sister. Praise God. Yeah, because when I first began hearing the word and I was hearing the teachings, I used to think, you know, the people who are preaching, wow, they are so anointed. They know so many scriptures. I don't even know a single scripture. But... I didn't remain there, no. Today, the Holy Spirit is speaking through me as well. Why? Because I made a decision to study the word. I made a decision to let the word remain in me and grow in the knowledge of the word of God. But that is exactly what Satan doesn't want us to do. And that's why you can see, wherever the word is preached, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word which was sown in them. And it was easy for him to snatch the word from these set of people who heard the word but did not receive understanding. Because you have heard the word, but not necessary that you paid attention to that word that was being preached. Possible? There are so many things. If you see on a daily basis, there are, you know, our mind thinks like almost, say, many thoughts, more than thousands of thoughts every day. Okay? And there are so many things we are exposed to. You just observe yourself. If you have a mobile in your hand and say you went to, you know, um, like type something like on maybe related to the word of God. I'm talking to my about myself. Okay. When I went into Google and I want to, I went with an intention of something related to the word, but then, you know, there are some other things, flashy things. And you subtly click on that. You don't know you, your mind went in another direction. Are you understanding? How yes, sister. you can get distracted. Yes. Like yeah. maybe you maybe you wanted to click the link to the teaching and you click the link, but in between the links, some advertisement came. And then you clicked on that and then your focus shifted from the teaching onto the advertisement. Is it true? True. Praise God. 
So this is all the schemes of Satan to bring distraction in our life. Because he knows once we get the taste of the seed called the word of God and we see it's planted in my heart, it's going to be difficult for him. And that is why he comes with different kinds of distractions to distract you, okay, in different ways. You might notice when you're listening to the word only suddenly some, you know, relatives will come. Suddenly some important work will come. When you're sitting to study the word only something, that time only you will remember some work to do. I have experienced this so many times. And that's where, you know, I understood that it is Satan who doesn't want me to get an understanding of the word. See, this topic, if you get an understanding of this, whenever you're going to another teaching, Holy Spirit will help you to grow more in that teaching. This is like the basic topic. That's why Jesus said, how will you understand and grasp the meaning of all the parables if you don't understand this parable? Because in this parable, he speaks about the principles of the kingdom of God, how the seed works and how, you know, important it is the quality of the soil. In other words, our heart condition. And he also speaks about the different things that Satan comes with so that we should not get the word. Satan doesn't have a problem. You go pray, you go sing, you go attend church, you go and for the retreat, retreats after retreats, no problem. But he has one thing. He doesn't want you to get an understanding of that word. And what is understanding? Having practical knowledge. Anybody? Having practical knowledge. Can you hear me? Did you hear me? Correct. Hello. Yes, Sister Marcella, we can hear you. <laughs> I said having practical knowledge. Yes. Understanding is having a practical working knowledge of the word of God. Now, when you know how to apply the word, you know how to apply the word in different areas of your life. That is when you receive understanding. Correct? And yeah. Satan knows that. He knows if you receive the understanding of the word, you are not going to quit on the word. And that is why he brings so many hurdles in your life so that you don't see that the word is true. He wants to convince you that this word of God that you're preaching, you are listening to, you know, it doesn't work. He tries his level best to convince you that it is not working. Nothing is happening. I prayed, but nothing is happening. Correct? These are all the lies that the devil is trying to, you know, put in your mind so that you Turn your focus from the word onto the world. And it's a very subtle thing. Every moment, there are distractions. Every moment, it's a spiritual warfare taking place. Every moment, it's like Holy Spirit is also fighting for my attention. Satan is also fighting for my attention. Now it's up to me where I'm going to give my focus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Would anyone like to add something on this about understanding? Anyone? Praise God. Anybody over here, uh, you know, who uh, um, in the beginning would only depend on, you know, praying but now the understanding of the word has helped you anybody would like to share your experience it will bless somebody yes sister. anyone here yeah i would like to share ever since i joined your class and also 
Brother Vincent and Sister Melanie, I, I realize praying the rosary regularly and the divine mercy and attending mass and saying prayers over there didn't help me. But once I came to an understanding that I need to speak through the Spirit, pray through the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit now is giving me more and more eagerness to listen to the word of God and to focus my whole attention on the word of God. And I'm finding so many blessings coming my way after I started this, continuously keeping my mind on the Holy Spirit and praying in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. So all this while, you know, you were focusing more on praying. Yes, but praying was good. I'm not against praying. But prayer without faith, praying without having a right understanding of the word, it yes, is of no use. If you're praying with understanding, that means many of the times in the past, our prayers were, God will heal me. God will bless me. God will do this to me. Those were the prayers in the old covenant. But in the new covenant, we have to understand that Jesus has done everything on the cross. He has already blessed me. He has already healed me. All those things. Now, when I have a right understanding okay, of the word, and now when I sit to pray, and now I pray the right prayers according to the scriptures, now I start seeing result in my life. Because now my prayer is mixed with faith. In the beginning, my prayers were a prayer of hope. God will heal me. God will do this to me. But when I got the understanding with the word of God that faith is now and hope is God will do me. Hope is the future tense, but faith is the present tense. Okay, that yes, understanding changes my thinking and that thinking changes my believing. My believing changes my decisions. My decisions change my actions and my actions change my final outcome. Praise God. Praise Thank you, God. Jesus. Praise God. Praise Thank God. You, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Jesus. Praise God. Yes, sister. Sister, even I used to go for many retreats. I used to attend in Porta, example, in a lot of retreats in Goa. Like that, through understanding of word of God, we used to not get like, okay, praise and worship there. Uh, everything was there in the retreats. But uh, even the names calling by priest, some names have been called by priest saying they are healed. But that like satisfaction we used to get. But the true understanding of the word of God was not there in us. But through the JSLM teachings and um, through JSLM teachings and your teachings, like we have got the true understanding. Like we know how the word of God really works in our life, and it is a powerful sword. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank See you, Jesus. the spiritual gifts. Okay, it is used for to you know confirm to a person who doesn't believe in the gospel that you know. We have a true living God. So that was the purpose of the spiritual gifts. But, okay, a person, God doesn't want me to remain in that stage forever. In the beginning, God in his mercy will allow some, you know, miracles to happen. Yes, he allows that He because he loves us. But if I'm going to remain in that stage for the rest of my life, Am I going to be putting my trust on people rather than on God? Yes, yes. sister. Yes. Yeah. And that is so dangerous. You know why? Because Jeremiah 17 verse 5 says, you are cursed when you place your trust on another man. Yes, the preacher's job is to lead you to the truth, to show you the truth, to help you to understand. But after this class, it is your responsibility to sit with the Holy Spirit and ask him to give you more depth, to help you to understand this better with a practical example.
possible whatever you all are hearing right it is when you make a decision to sit with the holy spirit and tell holy spirit teach me i too want to do i used to have prayers like that when i used to uh, you know uh, listen to the teachings i used to say what these people are doing even what i want to do it i had that desire and i was like i also want to study if they are put so much labor to study the word and lord you can do this in their life you can do it in my life as well so i made a vision and i started imagining myself that one day i'll be sharing the word so those desires were coming of course it was the holy spirit planting those desires because preaching the gospel was never on my mind even when i got healed um that was not the first thing on my mind but as i started spending more and more time in the word understanding the word my desire started changing i was first interested in you know using the scriptures to make my visions based on the worldly desires like i want to be successful i want to be ambitious i want to do this i want to do that but as i started spending more and more time in the word i realized that was not what god wants from me what god expects from me is to go and share go and teach others what i have learned if i have benefited from this word there are so many people who don't even know what is this word of god and i am the labor of for them and you know there are so many souls locked in me that i have to go and share the word of god and i'm i'm not supposed to do it alone i'm supposed to ask his help depend on the holy spirit whatever he gives me you know and when god starts something in your life it will be so small it will be so insignificant that when you continue okay if you continue and do not give up do not feel discouraged that same small thing will grow so big beyond your imagination i can for example give this bible study as well when i started with it it was just me and my mother and few people who would come but as i continued okay i did not stop i continued kept continuing today i'm connected to people i don't even know from where how i got connected this is all the divine connection this is how god uses the right people the right opportunities the right things to come your way so that he can promote you to the next level and the word can go and reach out you know the word can spread to more and more people that's exactly what god has for you and me and the beginning is the seed so do you see the potential in the seed just one seed <coughs> and how it is spreading it started with jesus god the father sowed the seed of his son into our lives so that by believing in him we should not perish but have eternal life and through him his disciples his disciples they became the apostles they were just 12 of them but they went and shared the gospel and today our lives which were once upon a time in darkness now we are sharing the light with others and that same potential that seed called the word of god which is in each of your hearts okay that potential is in you can you see how god system works yes sister there is god thank you jesus praise god thank you jesus would anyone else like to add on this about the power of the seed this is my sister yes sir yes. yes sister yeah. yes sister i want to share my testimony today yes sister uh, i was desperate because uh, i was not i left my job due to some reasons personal issues and i was at home and as my family i was carrying out then i was thinking i don't have any job i have to be at home i can't go out because of i had to take care of my family 
And at that time, as I was connected since two years with the JCLM teachings, since last December, these thoughts were continuously coming. You can't do anything. You can't go out for any job. You can't work like any other person because you have your family. You have to take care. And as these thoughts were coming, I was just relying on the Holy Spirit, asking him, Lord, I command these thoughts. I do not want these thoughts. I want only the thoughts from you, Holy Spirit. And you show me the way where I can go through in my life where I can stand in your name. And at that time, Jesus really revealed me through my parents and my relatives, telling and inspiring them, not for me, inspiring them. And they, they came to me and they asked me, teach me something from the Bible. And I said, how can I teach? Because they are all elderly people in my families and how I can teach y'all. And they said, no, whatever you know is more than sufficient, which in our family compared to others, we don't know anything about the Bible, about Jesus, which you have the knowledge about that, how much you speak to us. So they all came together and it was Holy Spirit, which inspired them to tell these words to me inspiring me about my career to continue in his word. And now, as I continue teaching them in the Zoom, now Holy Spirit, with that small thing, what, what he started in my life, I can't stop praising God. Now in, these, in this month, August month, God revealed me a new career in his name. That is, he started a Zoom meeting through JCLM, they told me, Sister Anita called me and told, you continue with the Zoom meetings and you share the link and we will all have the classes. And it is now around 30, 40 members joining in the Zoom classes. I praise God for this. Where I was desperate and I was gone down, Holy Spirit revealed me where I can stand in his name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's a beautiful testimony, sister, because see how God works for each one of us. And that is his love for us. That is his purpose for us. So every day we need to, you know, keep planting the seed of the word of God in every teaching of our life. Because see, we listen to different teachings. And many a times, you know what happens, I can say there are times where we slip into a place called complacency. You know, when you start getting to know better topics, topics like, okay, sower and the seed, and the same topic is being shared again. You know, there comes a thought, okay, I know, I know this topic. Anybody like me? I know the same yes. topic. How many yes, times sister. to listen? Yes, sister. Yeah. Yes. That is something you need to watch out for because you, you don't even know you're subtly entering into spiritual pride. Because maybe the topic is the same, but Holy Spirit wants to give you something, you know, very powerful, which you might not even know. Like many a times if you see, we start with one topic, but we get into a different direction. But the Holy Spirit leads me. That's why I'm going in that direction. If you ask me, I want to share on this topic. But if he's leading me, maybe somebody in the class needs to hear this. That is why he's leading me in that direction. And you never know how the Holy Spirit moves, how he leads. And that's why it is so important. We, you know, we should never ever come to this place. I know it. No matter how many times you have heard the topic, there is always something new to learn. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, which is very true, something new to learn. Like what I learned, you know, penetration, of course, it, uh, for me, it was like going in and then it's, it goes inside the system, whatever. But you gave us, gave me, gave us the understanding, represents understanding. Oh, that's a new revelation which I received today. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. 
it's a holy spirit even i learned it today itself while the class it's that when understanding when i understand the word that is when it penetrates inside that's why the difference between the first soil and the other three soils praise jesus beautiful thank you jesus i also was like that sister i also was like that sister earlier when the word of the lord has been spoken i'll say are i read this already i know this and my suddenly i'll find my mind is gone diverted and i'm not paying attention till i realize after i started praying in tongues that the holy spirit convicted me your focus is going away from the lord and then i come back and i realize yes i'm not concentrating and i'm not paying attention what the word is translated and how it is enriching my life and that is when i stop now thinking that and i pray to the holy spirit change this attitude from my heart lord praise god sister thank you for sharing that because you know like uh, sharing these experiences really encourages all of us because you know we all need to ask for that humble heart a teachable spirit because we don't know the th- the line is so thin that we we can slip into spiritual pride very easily and it happens very subtly you know that is also one of the ways the enemy stops us from growing more in the word by making us feel that we know it all thank you jesus praise god praise you jesus anyone else would like to add something it was a nice discussion where we all learned lot of things from each other praise god thank you jesus even my daughter sister uh who is in bombay she is also sharing the word of god to non catholics especially uh, like she is uh, ordering the holy bibles and giving to non catholics and even her own testimony she is sharing so in small little way like she is giving the word of god and like one muslim girl like she was discussing with my daughter like jesus is the prophet in their islam quran so my daughter explained her no jesus is the son of living god he is the only son who died for us for you and me on the cross so she got the true understanding of jesus otherwise that always that misunderstanding was there in the mostly in muslim quran like it is a prophet jesus is a prophet but like my daughter was able to understand her like jesus is the son of god praise god praise god thank you jesus see in little ways you know whatever we are doing it's all about our heart condition you know love yes, should be yes. the main thing and yes. it's god seeing our heart he is not interested in how much you are doing he is interested in you know how you are doing it how dedicated you are whether one person comes or 100 people come how is your attitude is it the same that is what he is more interested in thank you jesus praise yes. god yes sister even i faced a lot years in my society because i am with all the muslims here sister sister barbara yes uh, see, see whatever happens okay walking yes, in love remember one thing always yes, walk in love pray yes, for the sister. person you know i and pray, pray for them for i pray them. in tongues i pray in tongues because they are not convicted sister so i yeah. i give it to the holy spirit you take control i i'm surrendering them because their hearts are still not acceptable yes. to your word so i have surrendered them completely now and i keep praying in tongues every day for all of them for every one of them that they may come to know the truth and the truth through you praise god thank you jesus beautiful so how we you know we are instruments of spreading love and the gospel in different people's life that is very very important thank you jesus praise god 
okay then we will close for today and we will continue tomorrow would anyone volunteer to make the thanksgiving prayer i'll make the prayer sister yes sister you can do it in the father and son and the holy spirit amen lord jesus we thank you lord thank you and praise you lord for this day and for your word lord jesus yes lord your word is like a seed that enters into our hearts and you are the soil lord and you help us to cultivate and to stir our hearts with good soil and with lot of menu so that the seed may grow and mature and bear fruit for my brothers and sisters to share out lord i thank you for sister priya lord jesus who has been a powerful instrument for each of us who explains everything so minutely lord so that we can understand and follow your word lord jesus we ask for a mighty mighty anointing and blessing on her her family and on her work lord jesus especially on every patient that she may receive the mighty healing through your holy word yes lord and for each of us as we go about today doing our things let our lives be an example to everyone around us lord to know that we are walking in the divine light and doing your holy will we make this prayer in jesus name amen 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 thank you sister for this beautiful prayer Thank you all for joining in. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye sister. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye.